This is what it is, okay? I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. That's right. Water or fluid in general has amazing properties. And one of them is the hydrostatic fluid pressure. So first, uh, let me remind everyone that pressure is a scalar quantity. It's the pressure force that's the vector quantity. So for example, this point in the fluid here has a pressure of uh, so many newtons per meter square. Therefore, the fluid here will exert pressure forces on the surrounding fluid in all directions. Yeah. So the pressure is a scalar quantity. The pressure forces is the vector quantity. Pressure is scalar. Pressure forces are vector. Now, um, we're, oh, very often we are interested in the pressure forces exerted by the fluid on uh, other, other surfaces, right? So the direction of the pressure force exerted at this point is in this direction because of the curvature at this point. As for the magnitude of the pressure force, you've got to take the pressure at this point times the area uh, that you're interested in. Get it? So the direction of the forces follows the curvature. As for the magnitude of the pressure forces, ah, you take the pressure at that point, multiply with the cross-sectional area that you're interested in. Okay, now let's go on to uh, derive the formula for hydrostatic pressure. So take for example, I'm interested in the pressure at this depth in this fluid. Very easy. Let's imagine a liquid column here with a cross-sectional area of A. Now the weight of this uh, fluid column here must be supported by the pressure forces exerted by the fluid underneath it. So the pressure force is supporting the weight of the fluid column. The pressure force, we can write it as the pressure at that point multiplied with that cross-sectional area. Whereas the weight, we can write this as so. So A times H is actually just the volume of the column. So rho times the volume will give me the mass of that column. So this whole thing here is just mg, which is the weight of the liquid column. Now you cancel away the A, you get a formula. Pressure is rho hg. Then here comes the question, what we derive is based on a vertical pressure forces. Uh, then how does the pressure forces end up being able to act in all directions then? Ah, to answer this question, let's remind ourselves that there's something about fluid, right? You cannot stack up a, a liquid column vertically actually, right? On its own, the, the column will surely uh, collapse, right, into a puddle. That's why you always need a container to hold a uh, liquid. What that tells us is that the, the walls of the container must be exerting some horizontal forces. And that tells us that the liquid itself, right, among the liquid uh, molecules themselves, they must also be exerting horizontal forces. That's why even though the origin of uh, fluid pressure is due to gravity, which acts only vertically, the liquid actually ends up not just being pressurized vertically, but also horizontally, and in fact, uh, in all directions. That's why a fluid always takes the shape of its container, right? Because it's pressurized not just vertically, it's pressurized in all directions. That's why it, it will... That's why the fluid pressure will force the fluid to take the shape of the container. And in fact, that gives us that amazing property that the fluid pressure only depends on the uh, fluid depth even if the container has this kind of funny shape, yeah? So the fluid pressure here is the same as the fluid pressure here, simply because they have the same vertical depth. So we can imagine like the pressure increase, increase, increase until here, and then it's the same pressure at the same depth here, and then you increase by this much until here, and then it's the same pressure until here, and then it's the same pressure increase until here. 
So it doesn't matter that you cannot draw a vertical line uh, from, from the top of the surface to, to the point that you're interested in. The fluid has a way to transmit the pressure both vertically and horizontally. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!